Hey, how y'all doing today? I'm Bubba. And I'm KK, and this is our VNLA. In this video, we begin a segment called Where We Work Camp. In it, we'll go over the pros and cons of the places we choose to work camp at. Also, what you should expect if you choose to work camp at one of these places while you're traveling. But what is work camp? That's a good question. Let's go over work camping first. So work camping is pretty much when you combine your job with the experience of RV living and or tent living. Okay. You got to be the highlight of my work day. So you trade hours on the clock for utilities, a site to stay, and usually some type of wage or pay, but that all depends on the job. For example, like a park host, you pretty much open the gate and allow people to come into the park. And in exchange for that, they give you a site to stay at. There's not too much more to it. Have a site for sewer, electricity, water. But other than that, you pretty much stay in somewhere just for the service of opening the gate and closing the gate at night. At the very least, work camping is a way to experience or explore or even stay somewhere for a discounted rate or sometimes completely for free. So now that you understand what work camping is. We're also firm believers in if you're not happy, turn the key and leave. Get out of there. If you're not happy, then that's, that's really no point. So whether we stay and work there for a week or a year, it'll be in this playlist just because we want you to understand that some things aren't as transparent as they appear and some jobs are even better than they could even describe in words. So we really want to give you an idea. We don't want it to be cut short. And so we don't give you a video because that's not fair to you guys. The point of this video is to be to rate each job in five categories worth 10 points each. You have five categories and each one can be zero out of 10 points. So you want to get a perfect score of 50. These categories will include location and that's relative to stores and nearby attractions. Compensation, aka the sites, amenities, the attractions, and the leisures around the area. The crowd also, so pretty much guests, co-employees, management, pretty much just the entire crowd that goes into the area or the job. And then also with the job itself. So what you actually signed up for and, and how it actually is. There. Piggybacking off of the job itself, just the transparency. Did you know all these things before you got there or was everything just a big jump scare pretty much? We'll rate each one of these categories out of 10 points, pretty much 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. For each category, you'll get a perfect score of 50, but we haven't had a perfect job yet. I'll just say that so far. We've already tried three jobs ourselves, all different states. So our first year of work camping. If you think that these are good ways to judge a work camping job, leave a comment, leave a sub, and if not, tell us how you would rate your work camping jobs. Anything to say before we head out? Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click the like button and I hope to see you guys next time. Until next time, RV in the way, out. Yeah. Yeah. They're so. They're all these. That's why I was <laughs> in the oh, I want to do the same thing. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and in this video segment, and in this video, we'll begin a segment called Where We Work Camp. You decide to work at one of these places. Also, what you should say. Also, what you should expect if you decide to work camp at one of these places yourself. Jen, what the, whether that be. That's my part. <laughs> that was Barb. Just reset. That's how. That's <laughs> you saw me in the first few times. We'll also get. Man, shot again. Man, it's hard. I'm not. <laughs>